So I can grab that part then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy. Prophecy? Shit like that. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? And welcome back, everybody, to uh, The Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming. We're going to pick up right where we left off. And so I just noticed, I was looking through my, my quest log here right before I started the recording, and it looks to me like uh, I actually didn't finish the worst contact. We were supposed to talk to Ellie. So let's do that first. Um, wait, where are we going? Yeah, let's do that first, and then we'll work You're on getting those radio series? parts. I know you were trying to stop. And uh, we're probably going to get into some combat. A little action going here. All right, talk to Ellie. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Yeah, so like, <laughs> Tell what you good what, is that to you? I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work Ooh, my debt that off. could be useful. Are you saying you work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, <laughs> I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway. And you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Okay, um, yeah. I, I think it's probably a good idea to uh, have a doctor. However, I am kind of curious, what exactly did Jessie do for you anyway? She helped me win a bet. Oh, what was the bet? Oh, that's funny. She said she said that she did. I don't remember her saying that. Uh, what was the bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantis. Alive. Holy crap. Really? Um, don't tell me you tried. You're not that fast. Oh, no, they're not that fast. <laughs> yeah, let's. Well, actually, I don't really know that because I haven't run into one yet. Um, and? And as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. I see. Okay, so she did save your life. Uh, interesting, st interesting. Moral term. is, mantis swords can't run when they're full of holes. That's probably true. All right, welcome aboard, Doc. You won't be sorry. Well, I hope not. Or if you are, just add it to my debt, and we'll figure something <laughs> out. <laughs> okay. Doctor Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a sawbones on the crew. Okay, nice. Very nice. So. Now, can I have, like, two companions at the same time? Oh, you know what? It looks like I can. That's awesome. Okay. So, let's, um... Vicar Max is... Does he have any points? Yeah, he doesn't have any perks. Um, this is just his stuff. Okay, so he's... Distance is medium, range, and defensive. Okay, so let's go to Ellie. And let's look at her perks first. So, bonus support medical. Increase your medical skill when Ellie is in the party. Sneaky. Decrease the amount of threat this companion generates. Yeah, I... You know, I want to... We really need to make sure that they they don't generate a lot of threat and that they're... You know, and we give them health. But let's start probably with the threat one first. Okay. Just because, you know, we lost... Uh, we lost Parvati, which really sucked. And, um... We don't want to lose any more companions if we can help it. You're going to have to do the point allocations. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, let's make sure that you... You've got a ranged pistol and a melee weapon. So... That's my rifle. Light machine gun. Um... That's a, that's a plasma pistol, too. Let's let her keep that. And this is a corrosive sword. Body armor... Okay. Yeah, we'll let her keep that. And then uh, we did the perk, and we want medium weapon ranged. I don't want any of them to use melee. It just doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, unless, you know, they have really good armor. And we want you to also be defensive. Those are her skills. Ability quick draw. Ellie quickly draws her pistol and fires off a series of precision shots at her target. Okay. So both of my my peeps now should have uh, should have the sneaky perk. Okay. All right. 
let's do this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the journal and we're going to go to happiness is a warm spaceship. Get the new parts from the radiators. You need to get the new parts from the radiator array. Oh, I thought, or for the radiator array to keep the groundbreaker from overheating. Uh, June Lay wants you to salvage the parts for the radiators from old machinery in the back base. Okay, that's what we're doing. Let's do it. Uh, so we got to go this way. What am I doing for weapons myself? Inventory. All right, so we got the sword, the sh tactical shotgun, the plasma rifle, and our sniper. 71. Oh, yeah, this is an up. must be an upgraded one. Okay. Okay, before we go down here... Oh, I guess... Oh, that's right, we got to go to our ship to save, don't we? I forgot about that, because we're playing on hard mode. Um, I would kind of like to save before we do this. So, let's go back to here. We'll fast travel to the groundbreaker. Canid examined. Okay, and then we should be able to just reload. It's kind of silly that we have to do it this way, but... They should just let us save whenever the hell we want, or at least give us more frequent uh, save points. I wonder, though, if I should have slept. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I actually need to, to rest up before we go into combat here. And we'll eat and drink and all that kind of stuff, too. Welcome back. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet in the entry bay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's um, sleep first. Do we need to do any modifications? It doesn't look like anything needs to be repaired. Do we want to tinker with anything at all? So Max is using the assault rifle, or Vicar, Vicar Max, Max, yeah, Vicar Max, is using the assault rifle and he's got this shock stick, so he's, oh, that, that does a lot of DPS, my goodness. Um, we could give this to Ellie, I guess, or, yeah, Ellie, is that her name? Yeah. That does 142, so she's got a little bit better melee weapon than Vicar Max does. So... Light machine gun. We could upgrade this a little bit. And we could upgrade this a little bit. This is, um, I think this is, yeah, this is already level 9 and it's a pristine weapon. And that's probably okay the way it is. Okay, so for our own stuff. Oh yeah, that would that's that would be expensive because that's a level eight. I'm not really using the plasma so much. That's a level twelve. So both of these plasma rifle from one thirty-seven to one forty-eight. Um, here let before we do that, let's look at armor. So this is what we're we're wearing: elite troop armor. So this is gives us dodge but it takes away stealth skills this gives us that's just heavy armor in general um yeah let's upgrade our armor just a little bit okay and i don't i don't really have um good armor for my companions how much is that going to cost me? 65 coin? Yeah, let's just upgrade her stuff just a little bit. And we could give her this helmet. Just so she has, um, you know, something to wear. So I think we'll do that. Okay, nothing needs to be repaired. Now, do we want to modify anything? Install a mod. What's this do? Uh, no, this is already plasma. Why would I do that? Okay, let's go back. 
I think we've already checked all these. Remember, it's been a, a, a several days since I last played, so. Okay, that mag two power, that would change this to a plasma weapon. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to keep it, that a projectile weapon. Um, is our shotgun. What is our shotgun? So that would change this to, it would increase critical damage. Oh, it's already on there though. I wonder why, oh, it says the mod's already installed, right, okay. Uh, this, what's this do? Oh, this is a silencer. I don't think we want to put that on a shotgun though. What's this do? That changes it to a plasma shotty. Nah, let's not do that. Um, I don't think we have the option of putting a silencer on this, did we? I don't think I want to though anyways, just because I want to keep that long sight on there. So can we modify, that would change this to a plasma weapon. Um, this is the spare plasma rifle that nobody's using. I think I want to either sell that or break it down. Yeah, let's just let's just break this one down. All right, that's good enough for now. That's good enough for now. How's our inventory doing? We've got a lot of stuff in here. We should probably try and sell some of that next time. All right, let's take a sleep here. We'll just sleep for the minimum time. And now we need to eat and drink. We're going to probably need at least two of those. And then what's this? Fast ration pills, tarmac and cheese. I uh, guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just have the Harteris sauce. What's this? Skin tough salve. Okay. All right. Looks like that gets us close. We need to drink one more time. And we should probably eat one more time, too. There we go. Now we got full stats. Okay, cool. Let's head on out. Looks like they're both selected. Oh! Yeah, okay, yeah, I can take them both at the same time. Cool, okay. Now, I wonder if you, when you step out of your ship, we're transitioning. This is the so... simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is a consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. Life is fated and unstoppable. Gotta hand it to you, Max. You make my old med school lectures seem interesting. Right. Okay. Um, I want to give Ellie that's a level two, that's a level three, that's five armor, but that's nine armor. That's lock pick five, though. I might actually want to wear that the next time I want to pick a lock. So let's give her that helmet. That'll make her a little, little tougher. Okay, so what I wanted to find out is if I load the game now, um, is this when we just stepped out of the ship? 12 hours and 37 minutes. Pro I, I want to say yeah, it was, because... This was the first time we saved. This is the second time we ported back to the ship. And this is, I think, when we just stepped out. Maybe. 12 hours and 37 minutes. Okay. No, I don't want to quit. Here, let me zoom. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but let's just go. Let's just go. Because Urge from the last if we reload that save, we're going to be back to the ship anyway, so we're going to have to run back now. Do we need to talk to this guy? 
Hey there. Hey, Corporal. Um, nope. What? Wrong button again. Be seeing you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Misfire. Okay. Let's put that thing away so I don't accidentally shoot somebody. Where's that, um, I'd really like that. Someone over here was selling a sniper rifle. Where's that? Oh, right here. Man, I'd like that. Deadeye assault rifle. Ooh, someone has got to talk with Chief Tennyson about the thermostat around Yeah, we're working on here. that lady. Ooh. Ellie, my mind, but it's been a while. How's that whisper muzzle working out for you? I sold it. Didn't seem to make me any quieter. Hmm. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. <laughs> you want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me because I don't bite back. Yeah, right. Okay, um... What's the benefit of modifying my weapons? So I know the benefit. How much is this? I just want to look at the price on this thing again. Dead Eye Assault Rifle. She's got two and they're 913 coin so yeah I don't, I don't quite have enough bits for that but uh, more than like they were going to come across whoops excuse me uh, at some point maybe we'll even find one down below I still need to find the the board that gives the uh, you know the notice board that gives the quest for the uh, the bounty hunters too. Okay, now what we're gonna do here is we're going now we're gonna port back to the ship to create a save point here, so that way if we have to start over, we don't have to walk all the way back again. Okay, so we've created that save point, and then we just load the game again, and that puts us right back in front of the elevator. Should. Mantis Swarm Examined. There we go. Look at that. Funny how that works. All right, here we go. Transition to the back bays. All right. Let's do this. Semic Red. Oh, shit. You expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with the king. No sudden movements. This guy's crazy, even by my standards. Okay. Um, I guess we can talk to him because if otherwise he'd probably be shooting at us right about now. That guy's uh, in bad shape. He's an engineer. I'll take that stuff. All right, what do you got to say for yourself, dude? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Yum yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Burning to death is one of the most painful ways to go, just in case you needed a reason to get us out of this. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. S so, oh, okay. All right, so persuade. Put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. You're only getting out of this alive if you play nice. I was just exploring the ship and stumbled on this level. It, it, if it's nothing personal, I'll just be going. Attack. Neither is this. Um, let's... I don't like this, guys, so let's try and intimidate. I kind of have a feeling like there's probably not a good idea to get into combat right now. Um, because close quarters and all that, and I don't want to lose my companion. So, uh, let's just give this a shot. Ooh, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm here for some parts. June Lay sent me. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, what are you doing to that poor engineer? We were just sitting in a circle, sucking down exhaust fumes and toasting to the memory of our brain cells. Making this broken angel fly again. What the hell does that mean exactly? So I can grab that part then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute. Sacrifices. 
Prophecy. Prophecy? Shit like that. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Okay, um... How about I just kill you and take the parts? I'll be right back after I scrounge together some tribute. I ain't scrounging together no tribute. Let's, uh, lie. Those parts are leaking deadly talking, so I'll just come back after you're dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's try that one. <laughs> Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Um... There was something else? Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. So now he's calling me boss. Uh, how did you end up back here? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Hmm. Sounds a lot like what happened to me. Well, not really, because I didn't rack up any debt. Uh, there was something else? Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. Uh, I saw your letter from Rizzo. Galactic mushrooms, mushroom sounds like a great beverage. I saw your letter, letter from Rizzo. I don't remember anything about that, but uh, let's just, let's just select that one. They rejected it again, didn't they? I thought I could take my fungus garden and go corporate, you know? Damn. Well, maybe I'm better off. All right, I don't, re I don't remember what any of that was about, but okay, be seeing you. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. Okay. Well, um, that went reasonably well, I guess. So, looks like we can get stuff off of that. Okay, so this would be stealing. Probably not a good idea with that guy standing right there. What have we got in here, though? Understood. I'll keep my head down. What do we have in here? Wait. Is this like... What's the point in coming back here? I don't know. Maybe it's a place you can take cover if you got in, into combat or something. Alright. Uh, let's, let's not steal anything right now just because I don't want to start something here. Careful with that shit. He'll end up as crazy as he is. It takes crazy to live in this universe. Crazy cosmos. Crazy cosmos. Cosmos. Ah, got swollen time. <laughs> These guys are all drugged out. All right, let's go up here. We're just going to kind of look around a little bit. Don't mind us. Open face pasta? Hmm. I suppose if you were trying to do sneaky sneaky, maybe that's what that's for. I don't know. Anything over here? So how exactly are you smoking that cigarette? There's no mouth hole. Weird. Okay. Are you one of us yet? Uh, I don't think so. Pick up radiator parts. Fantastic, we've got them. Now we can move on to cleaner pastures. I don't think uh, Max appreciates being down here. All right, what's through here? All right. Nobody's going to see us take this, and as long as you don't get caught, it's not wrong. Uh, is that somebody right there? Oh my goodness. Scrap mechanical. I thought that was like some big power armor or something for a second there. Don't think anybody's looking. Go and let's just go check out uh, the rest of this place. Are those hibernation pods? And I thought my bunk was small. 
Where's hibernation pots? I don't know what she's talking about. I mean, I don't know where she's talking about them, I should say. Steel laboratory output, splash resist. Is there any... Oh, I see what she's talking about in here. Gotcha. Yeah, because this ship was kind of like um, the Lost Hope, the ship that, that my character came from. Doesn't look like anybody's watching, so... Okay. Interesting. He's looking the other way. June lays down here now? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, let's go look over here. I don't think I'm gonna hork anything out here. You get that automatic patch? McCred wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. So you can wake what that thing think? up, huh? It hasn't got a heart. Not like us. What's down here? You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. That may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. Um. Private Letty Dixon. What brings you to the back base? I came to grab some radiator parts. Engineering could use your help installing them. You're probably better off up in engineering than dining with the allies. Well, let's not come jump to conclusions. Yeah, why are you here? June Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Just take some level head for the hangover. And maybe don't work on anything life support related for a while. <laughs> good, Youth these good days advice. have no principles. I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things. So maybe I ought to lay off the fumes and head back to work. Probably a good idea. Um, I came to grab radio parts since you can use your help. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go with this one. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. How did you, like, get past McRed without, you know, like, getting shot and tortured and all that? Maybe we better not ask that question. Okay, I can pick this. I guess doing so is not stealing, right? Um, just in case. Let's wait till that guy's not looking this way. <laughs> I don't think it is. Oh, 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 What do you think you're doing? Uh, that wasn't a good idea. Um, lie, nothing at all, intimidate, whatever I want, persuade, I was just leaving. Uh, yeah, get out of my face. You're free to go. That was close. <laughs> okay. Even in, even if you can pick something, it still should tell you if you're stealing or not. Um... Okay. Purple 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 berry fizzy tea. Steel peaty. Alright. Lots of stuff we could steal in here. But not without killing those guys, which I don't think we really want to do. See, I don't know if we can kill them without alerting the whole place. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess we could. But there's three of them. Eh, let's not do it. Yeah, see, that guy's standing there, too. I want to know how to activate this thing. Maybe there's a terminal or something. Oh, you know what? I bet one way to get through this, if you're, you know, if you're hostile, is to hack into a terminal to activate that guy, and then he kills everybody. That might be a thing. At least we're getting some junk parts that we can sell. Did I do anything? Oh wow, look at that place. Hmm. Is there a way to get back there? No, 
not that I can see. All right, let's go up here. People don't like worms. Oh, is that one of them snipers? No, it's an assault rifle. They're my friend. Find a new friend. This worm fixation is screwing with our bottom line. My backside still smarts. Does everyone get branded when they join McRed's crew? Nope. Your ass is a priceless canvas now that it's home to an original McRed. <laughs> I guess I'm honored. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Oh, here we go. Examine. Um, junior mycologist log. When I settled on the groundbreaker, I thought this would be my gateway to the stars. The beginning of my epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws. Not even for selling. They just eat the damn things by the handful. Some of the crew have been tripping for weeks. Suppose it could be worse. Heard of a sublight contractor who got dissolved in chemicals and flushed down waste treatment for stealing from Lilia. Now McRed, he's always happy to see me. Calls me his fungus lad. Update. McRed just sent, set a man on fire for having his laces undone. Shit, shit, shit. Maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. I have to find something that calms him down. Time to experiment. Gonna experiment on the guy, huh? These must be the shrooms that he's growing, eh? Okay, so... Boss says you're all right. Yep, boss says I'm all right. <laughs> okay, well, I don't see anything else in here. So let's... Yeah, I don't think we can steal that without uh, riling up somebody. Let's see if we can get back in that room. All right, let's move on. Even the proverbial unwashed masses would turn their noses up at this place. Or we'll cut them off. Yeah, probably. It is kind of kind of dirty down here. Does he have anything else to say? Neighbor from above, what brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? Uh, nothing. Look at that weapon he's got. It's kind of cool. All right, let's go head on back to Henley. A down companion will pop back up at the end of combat, but not in Supernova. Yeah, right, not in Supernova difficulty. Hotter than usual in here. Hope we're not catching June Lay on a bad day. My thoughts exactly. Okay. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Uh, I got the parts for the radiators. What now? What's it like being a commander on here? You don't have a lot of faith in the board. Uh, yeah, let's just get this going. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manta pillar infestation. Manta pillar? Oh shit. Uh, yeah, define slight. Yeah, w no, yeah, why do I gotta do it? If every repair was a one woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able though you've proven to be. Um, just fine slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Oh, that's what messed them up. All right. Well, I'll make my, my way down there. Okay, so, um, looks like we gotta go this way to do that. <coughs> How do we get down there? radiators oh through here okay all right guys well um we are out of time uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save uh go back to the ship save and probably sleep eat and drink and then come back here and then we'll start the next episode at this elevator and continue on with our little adventure here so hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you, you cannot fast travel while you're near hostiles. Oh, wait a minute. I'm near hostiles? What about right here? There we go. Um, yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video, leave a comment, and we'll catch you next time around. Bye-bye.